guys, welcome back to our channel. My name's Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back with some more Algerian candy. Yeah, and as you can see, we're actually already halfway through yeah. this video. Um, so if you're joining us and you haven't seen the first half, you can go check it out up there. But if you have, let's get back on with let's this. Let's get back on. We've now got some sweet things because some of those snacks and savouries yeah, were, were delicious, so delicious. Weren't they? And this box is from Camilla, who's from Algeria, and she's been so generous, as you can see on the table. She also sent us loads of gifts. I'm wearing my perfume and my bracelet. Alex got a key ring. So Camilla, thank you for being so generous. We really appreciate it. Okay, shall we crack into some chocolate? Yes, let's do it. We've got so many bars here. We've got like an orange looking one. Oh, is that like a, a coffee? Bar? Oh no, is that peanut? Looks like it, Peanut it? cream, milk and almond. How beautiful she's um these are so like aesthetically pleasing aren't they like yeah. a black wrapper she's tied a black ribbon these look fancy oh these are that palmery but we've got max on here again but they must be like a fancy these are like fancy i think yeah because it's like um got cream on it as well it's like a flavor and cream a la creme a la creme do you know what's interesting what? there used to be a group in the uk called the noisettes oh yeah and in Algeria, you've got a chocolate bar called Noisette. P.S. I love Noisettes. The band. Yeah. The Noisettes. Um, or as Dad used to call them, the Noisettes. <laughs> the Noisettes. <laughs> they yeah. say we're never making mum. Mum is the connoisseur sweet. of orange chocolate. Maybe we should sneak her in for oh, just this one. Oh, yeah. Mum. Mother. So this says Cajillos. Cajillotes. Lay o cream. I'm not sure if this is like peanut. It looks like butter. it because that's like a monkey nut. What? Oh, cachiotes. That must uh, be peanut. Yeah. And at the same time, I'm going to open the ambassador because I'm pretty sure this is just plain chocolate. Okay. So I kind of want to just start with this. Oh look, they come in long sticks. Here comes Mum, the Here real star is. of the show. Look at her beaming. <laughs> When the sun comes out, bright and beaming. <laughs> oh, mum, you're beautiful. <laughs> mum doesn't need a chair because she's small. So <laughs> oh, my word. She can stand and be at the right height, oh, actually. <laughs> What's that joke? It's like, Adam, stand up. I am, sir. <laughs> <laughs> mum, you've won an award if you'd like to stand up to accept that award. No, stand up. <laughs> can you stand up, please? <laughs> Anyway, don't, don't you? Before we get started, yeah. I absolutely love Mum in this top. Mum has got such a nice lockdown glow during lockdown. So she spent so much time in the sun in her lunch breaks. Anyway, so if you didn't lockdown. see it recently, we did a whole tasting with Mum up there. But Mum, Mum learned. <laughs> it's not actually up there. Mum is the queen of orange chocolate, so we thought it was only fair to get her in to try this orange cream chocolate Ooh. and get. Not get just orange chocolate, chocolate with the orange cream, cream in the middle. In, yeah. Yeah. Thought it's best to get your impressions. Here you go, Kate. Mm. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. Nice. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Doesn't that cream taste like something we've had? But often we have mm. chocolate that's orange, but we don't very many have, have many creams, do we? No. no. Apart from in an actual box of chocolates. Mmm. And this, I don't know what the right word for it is. It's like a matte cream. It's not like a gooey mm. gel. It's not like a gel. No. I only want a piece to take and I'm going to enjoy that with my book. Right. Well, here you go. Thanks right. for coming, Mum. Well, I can't eat that much. <laughs> Bye. So you can... Love you, Mum. Thanks for coming along. Yeah, okay. Right. Should we do the peanut one now? Yeah. I really want to hop into the plane, though. Hmm. Oh, this. Mmm. Have we had many, um... Mmm. Oh. Obviously, we've had lots of peanut bars, chocolate bars, mm. and like Reese's, but that seems like a peanut cream. Yeah, I think it is. It's usually peanut butter, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that's really nice. Try that. I like that peanut cream. It tastes more um, hazelnutty. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. I really like that. Is it me? Does this have like a fragrance to it? I did kind of. I'm wondering if because it's from a different brand. Mmm. Mmm. I can't get over this. Really? I didn't think I was gonna like that that much. That's really nice. Even though I wouldn't really pick like a peanut butter bar or anything. Yeah. A few times when we're on holiday, I've seen that they do a Snickers ice cream. Well, and you I love bought Snickers that. Though, don't you? I do. You do. 
I do, but I'm just saying, yeah. it wouldn't be my first choice. No. Anyway, so a few times I picked up Snickers ice cream. That peanut bar is the, my favourite thing from this box. Really? Yeah. The, your favourite thing of from all this box. the things? Yeah. Milk and almond. Hmm. The almonds give like a nice bit of crunch and earthiness, don't they? Hmm. It says milk and almond, but the chocolate tastes more dark. I'm mm. wondering if what they're trying to say is it's like... The milk is something in mm. there rather than... Maybe, yeah. So what does noisette mean? Noisette. Hazelnut. Okay. What should we open? I reckon we go noisette. Caramel and then phrase. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. These, mm. This does taste like it's on a different level, the yeah. chocolate, doesn't it? This is that's amazingly delicious. That is smooth very good. and delicious, isn't it? Yeah, I it's wonder, so nice. I wonder if it's um, got richer ingredients. Mm. Oh, wow. And that's got a layer of caramel mm. and cream. Mmm. Oh, that caramel's a slight good, chew. isn't it? Mm. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> that is good. I have high hopes for the strawberry. Who are you? Bastille? I like the um, branding. No, Panic at the Disco. Is that who Isn't that who is? sings it? Probably. You should just sing any song you mention as Bastille. <laughs> Are you opening that? Yes, phrase. Matt will tell us he's French. Oh, that smells so good. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> That's like strawberry ice cream. I think it's really hard to get a strawberry mm. chocolate flavour. Because sometimes like it can with taste strawberry really, ice cream in the yeah, middle. Because sometimes it can taste really chemically, don't you think? Mm. Like the strawberry. Mm. Who is it who does a really it's good like strawberry a ice cream? Nepo ne what is it? Neapolitan. Neapolitan. Mm. Which okay. is your favourite out of these chocolates? Top, 20 out of 10. 10 out of 10. For me, and, uh, just because more of my fla flavour preference, these two are number one for me. Really? And I'm this is that. second, but that is probably that the is best. Amazing fruity chocolate I've ever tried. Yeah, that is so good. That really is amazing. I wonder how much those are. Right, would you like to do some sweets? Yeah. I'm kind of interested to see what's in these boxes. So, she has been awesome because obviously they're quite loose in here. Mm. So she's got these awesome boxes. They're really cool, aren't they? Unless she's made them. They're really cool. They've got like teddies on. What, what have you got in yours? This one says white nougat. Ooh, and this says, you say that Coca-Cola is different around the world. I guess it's true. Wow, these like Coca-Cola sweet. Oh, oh my, my word. word. Look, that says Coca-Cola on them. <laughs> well, that's very different, isn't it, around the world? I'll pop some of these back so we don't lose them. When we said Coca-Cola's different around the world, <laughs> we I expect. did mean, um, we did mean still as a liquid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this should be fun, shouldn't it? I've never had a Coca-Cola sweet. Have you? No, no. Oh, they look awesome. They do look really good, don't they? If these are good, I bet lots of people wish they could have these. It's like Coca-Cola. That's the best cola sweet mm. I've ever had. You know we have like cola bottles. Cola bottles. Why don't Coca-Cola make cola bottles? They'd be the best cola bottles in the world. I'm gonna put that back in and save it for later. I didn't realize I really wanted a cola. Sucky sweet. Sucky sweet, yeah. That is so nice. You got one. Yeah, that's a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I, that is. I that's would, delicious, if we it? could get these in England, I would get these for our plane journeys. Yeah. 100%. All the time. They're good. They're so good. So, this is vanilla nougat. So, we tried that. I'll put that in there. Mmm. With um, some nuts. Yeah. Quite common, isn't it? Got a bit of plastic on there. That's it. <laughs> I thought it looked shiny. <laughs> Mmm, mmm. Mmm, and take the plastic off and have a bit more. I'm liking these sweets. Where did it go? They are t 10 out of 10. Yeah, delicious. That nougat, nougat is amazing. Probably one of the nicest nougats I've tried. That's delicious. Mm. Should we do another two again? Yeah. You, uh, you pick yours. It's like, um, did you ever at school, I'm talking to you guys because I know you have, at school <laughs> you'd have like raffles or whatever and you can pick like a wrapped up present, mm. and you can either have a really big one, small one. It's like when you go oh. pick up your- Would well, you remember at Chobham when they used to do it in jars? Yes, that was- So you used oh. to get like a jar of like You'd treats. get a number, yeah. and it would be like, oh, what jar is your number? Mm. Yeah, that was so exciting, wasn't it? Because oh, they all looked so, so good. good. This candy exists for a long time. It's so vintage. And mine says caramel candy. 
I love caramel candy. <laughs> and I love <laughs> caramel candy. Oh, is that like? For kids. Ooh, this is caramel as well. Caprice. Oh, that's such a nice name, isn't it? Caprice. Do you remember there was a singer? I think What's this that? is chocolate caramel. Caprice. Yeah, she sang like a. The like song going down. Oh, right. Yeah. Get over it. Really. You know that film, which is about Romeo and Juliet? Oh yeah. Mm. She sang a song in that? At the end when they're walking down the street. Mmm. Mm. Mm. This tastes like something we've had before. Caramel. It's quite um, crispy at first. Mmm. Mm. Really good flavour. Nice, isn't it? Mmm. Mm. Yeah, we have had something like that before. Like, literally just mm. like that. Mmm. What I'm learning is Algeria has some great, like, sweets. Mm. Let's go keep learning. Never stop learning. Do you know what they say? Never say never. No, they say you only get old when you stop learning. Really? That's what I've heard. This is called star milk. Is it hard? Mmm. Yeah. I'm to try to bite it. Mmm. Mm. Really great flavour. Is it almost cinnamony? No. It's like creamy. Mmm. And milky. That tastes like, um, sometimes I get dolce de leche mm. ice cream. It tastes a bit like that. Mm. If I had more time, I would have loved to continue sucking that, but... I've got a chewy centre. Mm. I think it would have been nicer if I mm. warmed it up more. Mm. That is good. Ow. Oh, this is cool. It's got a few different flavours. Yeah, and what have you got? Taffy with... Fruit syrup in. See, this is the first taffy we've tried that's actually, you can see like a brand. Yeah. Whereas like a lot of the taffy we try, it's in like, um, maybe they're small batches. Yeah. So it's like just clear. So we've got some different flavors here. This looks like cherry, apple, and orange. Which would you like? We've also got strawberry. You pick first, Alex. Well, I was gonna go for the strawberry. You go for that, I'll okay. go orange. Mom, mom. So would we, so we have stuff like this, but we wouldn't call it taffy. Is this just like a cheese sweet? Well, this here mm. is like Almost some like of the things we have, but the stuff in America, mm. we don't have We here. don't have. Mm. Mm. That's delicious. Oh, it's really nice, isn't it? Which flavor did you go for? The orange? Mm. Probably a difference in flavor here, but... Mmm. Mm. What the devil is this stuff? Mmm. <laughs> can I try the pink one? Mmm. Mmm. Quite fragrant though. I feel like I'm eating potpourri. It's got something like mm. intertwined. I would say out of those two, the smaller ones are my favourite. Yeah. That orange was really delicious. And then we've got three of these little boxes left. This one says coffee potion. How funny. And that's oh. for fresh breath, take this. A coffee potion. It's literally got two little coffee, coffee sweets. sweets in. And we've got gum in here, mint, lemon, and strawberry flavour. I love those little boxes. Isn't it funny that we're trying like things that are so normal to her? Yeah. But like you just pop to the shop in Algeria and pick up. Okay, what are you should going to do? I think we should do the coffee first. Yeah. Quick coffee break. We had coffee sweets from somewhere, didn't we? Columbia. Wasn't it Colombia? As I'm not a coffee drinker, it's not my favourite. What mm. do you think, considering you like coffee? It tastes good, but I'd rather drink a coffee than yeah. taste a sweet. But maybe other people like... I wonder who, who goes for, like, coffee sweets. If you like the flavour of coffee. I think in the last one, a lot of people said, like, their grandparents mm. ate the yeah. coffee ones. Well, I think as you get older, your palate does change. So maybe yeah. you don't want things that as are as sweet. sweet. Cause so, because it's more of like a complex flavor. That's so it's true. I might go strawberry first yeah, and then lemon and then mint. Yeah. mint. I might go lemon then strawberry. I think you're right. Because there's so many things I enjoy, but so many people say it's too sweet for them. Yeah. So. you got a sweet tooth. I love the color of this pack. That's really cool. Is it like that bubblegum Mike Stern's mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not always really good news when you can snap your chewing <laughs> gum, isn't news. it? Good news. Well, the lemon is much more mellow than I thought it was going to be. Well, 
Oh, there's a straw. Less mellow than you thought it was going to be. Mmm. Really? Mmm. <laughs> it's like you're orchestrating a symphony in your mouth. Mm. Now that I've worked it in, it's really lovely. Yeah. Your lips are really white now. Really? Oh, because of powder? Mm. No. Mm. I, I like thought, that a lot. Why would I ever chew anything other than mint chewing gum? But actually, this lemon one's Look. really refreshing. Mm. This strawberry's really nice, like natural. Yeah. Not like, oh, I'm eating a load of sugar. Mmm. Mm. Mint? Mint, yeah. I'm giving that strawberry chewing gum like a solid 9 out of 10. Really? Yeah, that was really good. The fact that yours was crunchy as well. Mm. Unless like they have to be really fresh to enjoy them. Unless they last longer if they're drier. Maybe. And then you're, you kind of put the liquid back into it in your mouth. Please let us know if they are meant to be crunchy. Just that wasn't as crunchy. No, only crunchy to start with. Mmm. Mmm. This is called a flora stick. Yeah, just I that. really like that. I'm really liking this mint flavour. Mm, not too strong. It's like a nice mellow. Because sometimes I find our spearmint is a bit harsh. Oh, I love the spearmint. And the peppermint can... Peppermint's very harsh. Mm. You go for the cool mint, don't you? Cool Cool, cool breeze, isn't cool it? Cool breeze, yeah. That's got a really nice minty flavour. Mm. I like that. Bulba. 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 Mm, that was delicious. I'm giving that a 10 out of 10, that. Yeah, me too. Mm. Slightly disconcerting the start of yeah. it. Yeah. But once you're into it, it's nice. It says on it, mint. Yeah. It's more of a menthol. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I was thinking Good that. to clear the nose out. Yeah, that's I, exactly uh, what it is. I couldn't place the flavour, but it's, it's menthol, menthol isn't yeah. it? It's menthol, yeah. I much prefer the, um, the chewing gum. The mint chewing gum. But I'm going to have a little rinse, and then we've got a handful left. And you're forgetting two big tubs. No, I know. Oh, you're not. So we have Twisco chocolate. Should we give this a go? Yeah. Right, shall I have a look at this then while yeah. you're doing that? So this is a wafer covered with chocolate. It's called Goffretto. Oh, that looks cool. That was looks like a tiramisu, doesn't it? And I've made a mess. And this is Biffa. Mmm. Good. Want some wafer chocolate with you? Chocolate. Chocolate milk. Mmm. If I was making this again, what I'd do is I'd put a little bit. A little and make bit a paste. of paste. But actually it mixed in really well. That's good. I just realised these are like mm. peanut flavour puffs. Yeah, aren't like they? when we had in um We Israel. probably should have had these first, shouldn't we? These are nice actually. Mm, that chocolate milk's nice. These are really cute and small. Mm. These do actually go quite mm. well with the sweet. No, so I've still mm. got my mouth. They do have a sweet mm. flavour. You know what? Really I nice. actually really like them. I really like the texture. And it goes really well with this. They do have a sweetness to them, mm. don't they? So this is what happens when you blow up... <laughs> a peanut? A peanut. Amazing. I feel like you actually need to say that you're joking because some people don't get that. We're very sarcastic in England. Mm. Oh my word, this is a peanut blown up. Yeah. Like the girl who didn't realise in the Pop-Tart video. <laughs> you were. That I was taking the mech out of Kate doing, um, getting frightened by the toaster. Was like, that's so fake. He like reacted three seconds later. And I was like, I was taking the mech. Right. Wow, these are amazing. They're really good, aren't they? So salty. Should we do these other chocolate uh -huh. wafers? They're my... Is it one oh, of my favourite nice. things in this box? No way. Uh-huh. Never thought I'd hear the you say that. The texture is so good. Nice and salty and great with this. Never thought I'd hear you say that. Chocolate is like so smooth. Mmm. Mmm. Much prefer this to the um, yeah. graffetto. I really like this graffetto. It had a really nice chocolatey flavour. Like... But this, the wafer... It's kind of almost got a nice burnt flavour to it. And this caramelised even. And the chocolate is kind of soft. It's almost like a... That's probably the best cream. wafer I've had. It's Sometimes wafers for me can be so mm. drying. Whereas that is more like, oh, I've got a wafer and I've dipped it in mm. like some chocolate spread. Yeah. It's like, oh God, it's not moist. It's like juicy, you know. More like a chocolate cream. Yeah. Though. 
Just hard chocolate. Mm. And then finally, we have this, which I have no clue what it is. I think it's very traditional. We call it Hal Turk. How what Turk? We eat it like every day. Alison. Also, oh, sorry. <laughs> in our different special occasion. It's so, like, this is crazy that we're eating something they eat every day. All I can see is that there's some almonds. And it looks like it's a spam tin. I wonder if it's like, um, you know, nougat? that um, sesame thing we had from... Oh, maybe. To me, it kind of looks nougaty. Mmm. There we go. It's a strong tin, isn't it? Oh, Whoa. Wow. Is that like a peanut butter? This is so funny. You have this every day and we have no clue what it is. No. So that's almonds, isn't it? They're almonds, yeah. That's why I'm wondering if it's nougat. It's hard. Really hard. How do we even get that out? Should we get a bit of a knife? <laughs> bit of a knife. I'll get that full thing. Is it softer when you cut into it? Softer, yeah. It's kind of almost no dry and crumbly. Oop. I think it, it is like the um, sesame paste almost. Oh wow, it's really crumbly. Mmm. It is like that sesame stuff. Yeah. Almost like crispy, isn't it? Mmm. It is actually really delicious, isn't it? It's like earthy and nutty and but also very sweet. I remember the first time we tasted that. Mm. It's so different to anything We've I have had, yeah. or anything we have here, but I can totally appreciate why you would have this every day and at your special occasions. And if you were brought up on that, I think you really would find that sweet and delicious. Yeah. It's just, for me, it's just a very different flavor, but already I prefer it to the last, to time. The last time I had mm. it. So it just shows it's something that maybe you need yeah. to develop a taste for. But if, if you, you can't like nuts- If you kid, then I'm sure yeah. you'd love it, aren't you? That must be so sweet and- Yeah, delicious. I can so see that at like the special occasion. But that's almost probably like their version of almond butter. Yeah. Or peanut butter. Uh, you'll have to let us know like how you enjoy it. Yeah. Um, but dad's gonna love that because he loves the um, And if you have that paste. on something or you have it with yeah. something else. Oh, that was really good. Yeah, great box. It's really nice getting a taste into someone's yeah. life, isn't it? And in someone's life who's in a completely different country to us. Yeah, because there's a lot of countries now that we've had a few boxes from. So we're starting to understand yeah. what their style of food is, but this, Although it is the same categories, it's crisps, chocolate, sweets, and baked goods. The different flavor the different combinations. Flavors, yeah. Because at the end of the day, like, yes, Americans have different things to us, but a lot of them are almost the same mm. sort of flavors. Whereas might, this really is different, isn't mm, it? I might be wrong, but I don't think we've ever had shawarma crisps no. or peanuts before. No, so I think new. we might have had like a, a kebab um, I think that was like flavor. South Africa, yeah, was it? Yeah, but never the shawarma, yeah. is that how you say it? But wow, Camilla, that was such an amazing box. I really do feel like we've been on a travel journey yeah. uh, throughout that whole and this box. really was one of those massive boxes yeah. that we get every now and then that are just huge humongous. Blow us away. Yeah. So thank you for So that. thank you for your generosity. We really do appreciate it. We did send Camilla a box of British candy to enjoy. If anyone else would like to try some British candy, we'll leave a link down below. But did you enjoy that? I loved it so much. It was really great. Did yeah, you? it was really good. And I love my gifts as well. So yeah. thank you so much. We hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.